Welcome to Test Case Manager for the Device Anywhere platform. Test Case Manager is a free tool that helps you plan, execute, and analyze your test cases in a way that increases the productivity of your team and the quality of your test results. Test Case Manager enables a single testing professional to write detailed mobile test cases that can be shared across distributed teams with any level of mobile testing expertise. Everyone on your team gets easy, step-by-step -step instructions for all test cases you want tested and the set of devices across which testing is required. You get consistency, accuracy, greater test coverage, and a single repository for collecting and reviewing results. Test Case Manager is available for all Device Anywhere customers and getting started is easy. Once you log into Device Anywhere Studio, you'll find Test Case Manager section conveniently located on the left of your screen. Get started by clicking on Test Case Editor and then New Project at the bottom of your screen. Next, you'll want to name your project, selecting something that's easy to identify when you distribute the test to the members of your team. Now we've begun the planning phase of our test cycle. First, we'll select the devices we want our team to test on. We'll select an iPhone and add it to our list, as well as an iPad. I can continue to add devices to my list and select a Samsung Galaxy as well. I can also quickly add BlackBerry and Windows devices to our test cases to cover a greater cross-section of devices. Because I'll be working with others, I can select to create a code for sharing access and assign permissions. Now we'll hit Save. Next, we'll need to define what's going to be tested in our test cycle. By clicking on my project, we can see manual test cases. We can right-click here and start building out our test cases. I'll label this one Test Case 1, and now we're ready to define the steps of this test case. Because we selected several device models, we'll want to create a device agnostic description of each step in a way that your teammates will easily understand. We can start with some simple instructions to give you a quick glimpse of how to create a test. We'll create a test case for a test website that we'll call Timbuktu Airlines. For step one, we'll ask our testers to go to the Timbuktu homepage. You can add the title here and add the text. We can record the text of what we expect our tester to review and ask them to document their findings by taking a screenshot. We can also select multiple screenshots or have them collect a video. In this first step, we'll choose single picture so we can get a screenshot. Now we'll ask our tester to purchase tickets from our site. We'll click Add Step and label this Purchase Ticket Flow. Our instruction will be to click on Purchase, enter flight information, click Submit, select the flight, and then select Submit again. Because this is a multi-step process, we can select the proof type of video so we can capture the entire process. Finally, for a third step, I'll have the testing team fill in credit card information and purchase the tickets. I'll click Add Step and name this one Finish Transaction. I'll have them fill in credit card information and then submit and verify the confirmation. I'll ask for multiple screenshots for each page. Our instructions will be to validate that the confirmation page is visible. Now we'll see how the Test Case Manager guides your team through the execution of your test cases. Testers can now go to the Test Case Manager module and select Test Case Runtime. Testers will select the project that they're testing in and create a test cycle for the testing they're about to do. They can select from the list of available test cases and choose all or a subset of the devices they would like to test on. The tester can now also select the first device and choose Run Test Cycle. They will now be presented with the step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. Note that the test cycle status is viewable in the upper right corner. The tester can now follow the instructions and compare them to the expected results. They will also capture the required proof, and because the test matched the results, they can choose Pass. You can now see that the test is starting to become complete, and once all the device tests are complete, the tester will then be prompted to begin with the next device, performing the same set of tasks until the entire cycle is complete. At this point, 
results are being saved into the Device Anywhere reporting portal. To go to the portal from Device Anywhere Studio, click on Reporting Portal under Links. Once in the portal, you can choose your project and view test results. In this portal, you can view all the executed test cases, see whether or not they passed or failed, and click on any result to see the detailed proofs. Let's select the results from the test case that we just ran, which failed. Here we can see where the test failed and get a view of the failure that can be shared with the development team. The results, whether at a high level or detailed view, can be shared with other members and reduce the amount of time needed to resolve any issues. This simple test cycle shown today only begins to touch on the capabilities of Test Case Manager. You'll most likely have much more functionality in your app or website that requires testing, resulting in many more test cases in order to assure the quality of your mobile initiative. The Test Case Manager provides an online record of all tests completed, so you never need to wonder where you are with your testing sprints. As the volume of your testing grows, the value of this tool grows exponentially alongside. Contact us today to help you get started with a more organized testing process. We can also let you know about one of our upcoming online training classes and invite your entire team to learn more about mobile testing and improving the quality of your mobile websites and applications.